guys welcome back to my kitchen hope you are doing well today's video is going to be about what I eat in a day you liked the last one so much I thought to just bring it back and I think you liked it because it gave you meal ideas and inspo and that's what I want to continue doing if you need more meal ideas more inspo remember that you can always download my cookbooks my food timetable in the description box they're digital they come straight to your phone and they are filled with lots of delicious goodness so let's get into this video do not forget to click the like button and subscribe I've made it a point to always incorporate fruits in our diets it can be just us eating fruits putting it in a pancake or making it as a smoothie or enjoying it as juice I always make sure we have fruits now and a variety that the kids can pick from these are fruits that are easily available to us and we just enjoy having that so for breakfast today I'm going to have some fruits with some bread and egg so basic egg basic bread and then I'm going to have my big beans on the side it's just simple eggs so I'm just going to season it with some black pepper some Himalayan pink salt some dried parsley and I'm just going to add a bit of cheese <laughs> because I like cheese so I'm just going to put a bit of it in the eggs and then mix everything together and then I'm just going to fry that Next, I'm going to heat up my baked beans. I've shown in the past how I make my baked beans. It is so delicious. I put some bell peppers and some seasoning and it is so yummy. So I make it in bulk. I put it in the fridge and in the mornings or anytime we need it, we just take it out and heat up a bit and add it to whatever you are eating. It is so, so good. I'm going to link the recipe in the description box. So check it out there. I find that I am very, very hungry in the mornings, especially as I'm breastfeeding. So I really, really have <laughs> a very big plate of food in the morning. And I have my croissant and my fruits, and I'm just going to sit down and enjoy it. We have different types of breads at home that we like to buy. If you want to see me do a video about the type of breads we buy, let me know in the comment section. Since I got my new blender, I've been trying to enjoy more homemade smoothies and juices and the kids have been helping me out. We've been coming up with our own recipes that we like. Today we're doing watermelon and pineapple. I'll also be adding a bit of ginger for that extra cake and I love the taste of watermelon and pineapple. So I'm just blending it. I'm going to sieve it. We'll keep some in the fridge and the other I'll just put some ice in a glass and pour the juice over it was so delicious you guys you can add sugar you can skip sugar I'm not adding any sugar just because I just wanted just the fruits the full recipe is already on my YouTube channel so you can go and check a couple of videos back where I uploaded the full recipe for this uh, juice Thank you. 
For lunch, I'm making corned beef pasta. My kids love pasta a lot. Anything that has to do with meat in it. And I love corned beef. So I'm just using this um, shape of pasta. It is really huge though. <laughs> I bought it at the supermarket because I was curious. And I found out that it was huge. But I like it. It is so filling. I'm just boiling it in salted water and then draining it. I'm going to keep some of that um, pasta water aside for the rest of the dish. I'm going to heat up another pan, add some vegetable oil. You can use any oil you like. And once it heats up, I'm going to add my onion. I'm going to add ginger and garlic that I've already chopped up. And I'm just going to give that a good mix until it becomes fragrant. And then we're going to add our tomato puree. This tomato puree has a bit of pepper in it, so it is hot. So I'm just going to mix it and cook it till the tomato puree is cooked, till it loses that sour taste. And that takes about five, you know, to seven minutes. Next, I'm going to add some curry powder. I'm also going to add some fresh thyme. I like to use, you know, fresh herbs whenever I can find them. And then I'm just going to mix everything together. Now I'm adding my tomato blend. This is um, tatashe tomato and a bit of pepper that I have blended, boiled and reduced. And I keep them in the fridge in little, you know, packs. So I've added that. And then I'm adding some carrots as well. You guys, I like to add carrots to some of my sauces because carrots gives this kind of sweetness. Sometimes if I have cabbage, I add cabbage because there's just this sweetness it brings that I like. Next, I'm adding some chicken stock powder. I'm going to stir that in. I'll also add a bit of salt, but you guys be careful when you're adding seasoning at this point because remember we're using corned beef and corned beef is salty so add less salt than necessary till the end i've just added one pack of corned beef and i'm just going to mix everything together Next, I'm adding some chicken stock that I didn't want to go to waste. And I'm just going to add some of that pasta water. It's very yummy, mix everything together. And you know, our pasta is coming together really nicely. I know my sauce is done once I see the oil floating to the top like that and I can perceive the aroma and then I taste it, I know it is good. Now we're just going to add our pasta and then we're going to stir everything in. Next, I'm just going to add some sweet corn. These are things that I have in my fridge that I did not want to go to waste. You can skip that. You can add maybe bell peppers. So I'm adding sweet corn and some spring onions and just mixing everything together. And this dish, you guys, was so delicious. Don't forget that you can download my cookbooks for more amazing recipes so that you can feed yourself, your family, your friends. The link will be in the description box. For dinner, it was raining, so I decided to make some, you know, some pepper soup and a bunch of different things. 
in this pepper soup, I added some carrots, some scent leaves, and some uziza leaves. Lately, I've been into sweet potatoes, you guys, and my sweet potatoes taste better when I fry it in this cast iron pot. I cannot explain the chemistry or physics of everything, but it tastes so good. Even my friend came to my house and she was like, hey, me say, why is this sweet potato so nice and crunchy? So yeah, we're having sweet potatoes. I have some corn, sweet corn that we're boiling. Sweet potato, sweet corn. <laughs> Um, that were boiling and this is how it turned out I have recipes for pepper soup on my channel you guys so go and check it out and I also have like pepper soup recipes in my cookbooks this is chicken pepper soup and as you can see I have carrots, uziza leaves and scent leaves and just all these flavors together was just amazing and for such a cold day it was perfect because it started raining at night you guys so I was like this is just perfect and my kids love this. You should try it with your family they are going to love it. We also have ube on the side so I have corn, ube which is like African pear or Af African avocado like some people say and then our sweet potatoes that are so crunchy. I didn't used to like sweet potatoes but I love them now because you guys they are so affordable and they are so delicious and my family loves it so win-win. Someone was asking if I give my kids pepper. Yes, I've always given them pepper. At least the level of pepper that I can tolerate, they can tolerate it. They love eating things like suya that is very peppery and even pepper soup. So my kids enjoyed this meal and I just thought to share with you guys. It was a cold day, so it was absolutely perfect. I hope this video inspires your meal time. If you like this video, you want me to do more of these kind of videos, you can leave it in the comment section, click the like button. That is the only way I can know that you like this video and I'll do more of it, breakfast, lunch and dinner that my family enjoys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.